Thank you, Bastian. Uh, with us now uh, are Dr. Najat El Said and Ambassador Dani Ayalon. Uh, Najat, let's start with you. Uh, what is uh, actually the message from the UAE to Israel here? Uh, well, um, the message um, uh, from the beginning uh, was uh, was to maintain um, the relationship between uh, both of the uh, both countries. Uh, you, you know, uh, Jacob, that uh, when when the when the whole uh, Abraham Accords started, it didn't start to ignore the Palestinians. It is actually this Abraham Accord uh, happened in order to be untraditional way of solving uh, the Palestinian cause. So the Palestinian cause was the main reason of doing the Abraham Accords. Uh, it is, but it is, uh, it is the other way around. And mm. instead of no normalization, without uh, 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 without solving uh, the two uh, two state solution, it is basically normalization can uh, can lead. To the uh, to solving the Palestinian cause. Yeah, interesting so that you say the, that because it was sold to the Israeli public, as you said, the other way around. Let me uh, move yeah. to Ambassador Ayalon here uh, for a second. Uh, how do you see this uh, message? Well, first of all, we have to remember that what happened in Hawara sent really uh, shockwaves throughout the Arab world. And uh, to be truthful here, Yaakov, uh, the Arabs are used to Arabs attacking other Arabs, but not to uh, Israelis attack indiscriminately Arabs, you know, civilians like that. So uh, for the Emirates to do that, it's a bold move. Also, uh, first of all, to show solidarity with the Palestinians. And just as Jana said, is uh, to show that uh, they did not neglect the Palestinian interest, you know, with the Abraham uh, Accord. And also, I think it's a message to the um, Israeli government that uh, Quite honestly, they should have been the ones uh, compensating for this, uh, you know, the looting and the, the, the burning and everything like else. So uh, it is well received here by the Israeli population. And uh, the hope is that uh, the government will uh, actually match up the money that came from the EU. Uh, Najat, back to you. Uh, what's the long-term effect of, of things like that, uh, what happened in Hawara? Well, uh, the long-term effect uh, that uh, um, we hope that uh, uh, the uh, the government uh, in Israel will change its attitude, that uh, this kind of violence, this kind of attitude will be changed, because that will will not uh, will not solve anything uh, in terms of violence, in terms of increasing of the settlements, uh, all of that, and also the main reason of the Abraham Accord was basically to create this kind of diplomatic channels. If there is something uh, that bothers the government regarding any uh, any uh, problem with the Palestinian side, well, why we created this uh, Abraham Accord in order to have any kind of uh, uh, miscommunication with the Abra uh, Abraham Accord uh, countries? Okay, go and talk with the Abraham countries. Go and talk with the with the uh, with the UAE. You won't find the better uh, communicators than the Emiratis or the Bahrainis. Uh, so that, that's the main reason of for making the Abraham Accords countries in order to to make this kind of uh, strong communication between them rather than going and stepping forward without mm. uh, without negotiating with them. That's the main reason for that. But reason. you think that the Abraham Accords was basically to neglect the the, Palesti the Palestinian cause? That wasn't the reason and the message we got, of this we got uh, the point. humanitarian aid is basically for that. Let, let me move to Ambassador Alon. Uh, we we know a um, uh, few kinds of peace agreements or, or peace realities between mm -hmm. Israel and Arab countries. Is there any danger that this kind of peace, the Abraham Accords, will drift away to a more cooler peace, if you know what I mean? Well, I hope not. I hope not, because the interest of the two countries, you know, and also the Gulf countries, you know, whether it's the Emirates or the, the Bahrain and other nations, and, and Israel is, is too much. Um, you know, um, I would say um, bound uh, together. So I hope, I hope that despite the uh, displeasure of this government, by the way, the displeasure of this government is uh, mostly, f you know, felt here by the Israelis. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a bad period which will last. So the long term is for the countries to get together and hopefully we will see actually the, 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 the relations will continue to go people to people and actually the, um, the Emirates 
have positioned themselves in a place where they can really uh, mediate between us and the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Chad, uh, I-24 News reported that uh, Israeli Foreign Minister held a, a very rare phone call with uh, the Omani counterpart. Is Oman in the balance between Saudi Arabia and Israel? How do you see this? Uh, well, um, uh, yes, after, uh, well, let, let us not forget that uh, uh, Oman and Israel have uh, the first uh, Gulf countries, uh, a Gulf country that made the connection with Israel since uh, 2018. Uh, when uh, late uh, uh, Sultan Qaboos was, uh, you right. know, was alive, and uh, and uh, there was always this kind of relationship between Israel and Oman, uh, but it was like in a subtle in a subtle move. Uh, uh, whether there's going to be um, like uh, this, um, like mediator between Saudi Arabia and Oman, we we don't know because Saudi Arabia is quite firm in its uh, decision regarding uh, any relationship with uh, right. with Israel. Uh, we have and, thirty. Uh, we have thirty seconds, Danny. Uh, yeah. It's a bit of a mystery, Oman, right? Oman is a mystery because, uh, you know, they had very good ties, you know, where Rabin visited there, you know, for a long time ago, and uh, I, uh, I suspect that uh, they are too close to the Iranians, 40% of their populations are Shiites, so maybe they are taking their time a little bit more cautiously and maybe waiting for the nod from Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much for uh, this, both of you, thank you. Uh,